I'm, I'm going to show you how to install and set up uh, Spark uh, on a Mac operating system. Um, let's get to it. So let's search for uh, Apache Spark download. Um, so this is going to be on the Apache Spark org download. Um, they can change uh, the location in future, so just search for that. This is the latest one out there. Um, click on this download Spark link. This will take you to this um, the mirror side where you click on this, and the file will get downloaded. Um, this will take uh, a few a few seconds. Um, I mean, it may, may take a little bit based on your connectivity. Um, but once it gets downloaded, um, you need to extract it um, by double clicking um, on this file um, on Mac. So it's almost done. Okay, let's okay. So now um, double click this. This will extract it and. Uh, created, um, you know, extracted version is out here, um, and this is the downloaded file. So let's copy this extracted version to a local um, your home directory. So let's uh, let's copy this. Um, so my home directory is this. Um, Let's create a new folder <clears throat> called um, Spark. And um, paste it here. Um, you don't have to create this folder. Um, I mean, you can just uh, point it directly to this one if you want, uh, but I, I just want to put it into under uh, my home directory. So. Um, it will be neat, right? So I just put it that way. Now um, let's um, go to the terminal, and this is my home directory. Um, and we need to create a, 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 the path into a, you know a Spark home into a profile. Let's create that. Um, so let's export. Um, directory <clears throat> let's uh, get the location I think uh, the spark home put it under this directory uh, copy it so this is the place where I copied it and now export the path Um, so just append your existing path and then uh, add the spark home slash bin directory okay so this should take care of um, <clears throat> now <clears throat> um, execute the dot profile so Now you can see the uh, Spark Home is set up correct there. Yes, the location set up here. <clears throat> now to start the Spark Shell, let's do Spark Shell. <clears throat> Once okay, now uh, the Spark session is available, so it's a version 3.0. Um, please make sure that um, you have Java installed um, because it, it, it ex expects uh, JVM, um, <clears throat> so JDK 1.8 um, should be there. Um, uh, let me quickly go out and show you. So, in order for you to check that, um, you can say Java version and Make sure um, you have the um, you know uh, 
JDKs out there, the new version Java's out there. Um, <clears throat> okay, now <clears throat> let's start the Spark session. Um, so, and um, <clears throat> Spark context. <clears throat> now if you look at it here is a um, UI, the web UI um, uh, locations here. So you can actually kind of start it on the, um, uh, on your browser. <clears throat> so the Spark is already up there. So after we started, it is available. Um, so let me run a few commands to show you that um, it reflects here. So um, let's see. Uh, Um, now, if you put sum, it'll sum up the numbers here. <clears throat> Let's refresh, reload this page. So this shows you that um, the you know we 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 perform the sum operations. So let's see if I can do the count. Reload the page. So you see the count operation. So um, the, that's all. So it, this shows you the uh, Spark is out, um, you know, installed successfully, and you're able to see the jobs um, running on it. Um, thank you for watching.